In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a manual backup of your WHMCS installation. There are many options for automated backups, but sometimes it's nice to make a manual backup for some nice reassurance. It is always recommended to generate a backup of WHMCS prior to upgrading or making other big changes, such as installing a third party module. This way, if anything goes wrong, you can safely restore your WHMCS. A WHMCS installation comprises of two parts, a database and files. The database stores your data including client information, products slash services, settings and more. The files contain WHMCS functions, templates and modules. To create a usable backup of WHMCS, you will need to store both the files and database. Let's start with backing up your database. You can find out which name your WHMCS database uses by heading to your WHMCS root files in File Manager. Open your configuration.php file to confirm the database name string. Your hosting provider should provide an option to manage your database such as with the popular management tool phpMyAdmin. Using cPanel as an example, find phpMyAdmin. Select your WHMCS database from the left column and then click on the export button. Leave both settings default and then click on the go button to download a copy of your database. To back up your WHMCS files, you could use an FTP client. However, the process is much easier using File Manager of cPanel. First access File Manager and head to the parent directory of WHMCS. For example, if your WHMCS is installed in a directory, your parent will be public HTML. Right click on the directory that contains your WHMCS files and select the compress option. I recommend using zip for the compression type. By default, File Manager will create the zip within public HTML. It is extremely important not to leave the zip of your WHMCS files as it would then be publicly accessible, leaving your WHMCS and all data vulnerable. Instead, set the path to use the home directory. Files within the home directory cannot be accessed publicly. Your home directory path will be displayed at the top of the left column in File Manager. Type this path followed by the name you'd like to use for the zip file. Visit the home directory by clicking on the directory in the top left and then find your zip file. Right click and download. You now have a backup of both your WHMCS database and files which you can store locally or however you choose. A few things to keep in mind. Your database will be modified every time someone takes an action within WHMCS. For example, a user creates an order, submits a ticket, makes a payment, etc. Your files will only be modified when WHMCS is updated, a template or module is installed, or a file is stored such as a ticket attachment or download. For this reason, you may choose to back up your files only before or after making the changes while continuing to back up your database frequently. WHMCS does have an automated backup option. When enabled, a backup of your WHMCS database will be automatically generated and stored based on your preferences. We recommend enabling this feature, but it's important to note that this will not back up your WHMCS files. Your hosting provider may generate a backup of your web hosting account, which will generally include all the files and databases. You can also generate a full cPanel backup to achieve the same. This video is brought to you by Zomix. At Zomix, we have been providing premium WHMCS themes and configuration services since 2009. You can view our full range of themes and services in the description below. Save 10% on your next order using the coupon code YouTube. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to ensure that you are notified of new videos.